Hi, I'm Andy Mack from Akai Pro, and today I'm down at Tall Room Studios, and we're going to be looking at an exclusive look at the new Akai Advanced Controller keyboards and how this kind of controller keyboard can really integrate with what kind of music you're making, um, especially on the dance production, because basically so many of the VST plugins that are used in today's kind of dance genres um, are all confined to the computer. And the whole beauty of this keyboard is that I can control all of those VSTs directly from the high-res color screen and the application called VIP. It basically controls all of my VST plugins, all of my content, all of my preset sounds, and I can basically just go through sounds and different plugins and different genres very very simply directly from the keyboard so I can always work I, I can always focus on the music and not be worried about my, my whole workflow of using the mouse and stuff all the time so it's a really nice integration what we're going to do we're going to take a look at the keyboard now and I kind of give you a, a, a more insight of what's physically going on so as you can see on the screen, it's telling me that I've got a copy of Massive instantiated, and that's the same that's been showed on the computer. You can see Massive is, is, is basically instantiated inside VIP. Now, VIP is the application where all your plugins are, and this is what manages all your sounds. Now, VIP can run standalone outside your door, or it can run as a VST, uh, AU, Artaz, or an AAX directly inside your door. So if you're an Ableton, Logic, Studio One, Pro Tools, et cetera user, you have full control inside these doors with the keyboard screen to manage all of your VSTs and all your sounds. So let's, let's kind of have a look at how all this all works. So as you can see, Massive is instantiated and the sound that I have up is seven saw. So I can play that sound. So, you know, I can do this from any controller keyboard is just to have control over the sound. But what you can't do is some of this kind of stuff. I can now look at my screen and I can see all of my preset sounds. So I can now move to shadows. So now I'm going through all of my presets inside Massive. Now, if I want to control these sounds, again, I've got some control parameters on the keyboard. So I've basically got eight macros on the top here, and these are set over four banks. So I've got bank A through to D. Now each bank, everything's already been pre-mapped for you, but you can also remap the whole keyboard to the plugin if you if you desire. If there's certain parameters that you want to be mapped to a certain controller, you can do so. But everything's been pre-mapped already. So I can go to any of, the, any of these controls. And again, we can go through the sounds and we can select a different preset. So controlling the plugin is really, really, really easy. Um, but again, some other things you can't do where you have to rely on the computer is when you want to start swapping out plugins. So at the moment, I'm inside Massive, and what I want to do, I want to find all of my pad sounds in Massive, okay, for the kind of dance track that I'm doing. So I hit pads in my categories, and what I can do, it, it basically condenses down my search. So at the moment, Massive has like 1,500 sounds, and I can condense that search down to a couple of hundred, which are, which are basically now all pads. So as you can see, when I'm in, when I'm in Massive, I'm now only seeing my pad sounds. So if I can't find the kind of sound that I want from Massive, I can still stay in my pad browser, but I can now flip to plugins and I can now look at any other plugin. So I could go to FM8. So now I'm inside FM8 and I'm now looking for my pads inside FM8. So we can go to any of the pad sounds on here. And again, I hit control and I have all my controls. And all these can be recorded via MIDI as well. Um, so I'm still in FM8. Let's come out of FM8, go straight to Absinthe. So now I'm in Absinthe and again, I'm searching for pads. Go to another pad. Now, if 
I want to move from my search and say look for bass lines, I can go to instruments and I'm now searching for basses. So I come out of pads and now everything I'm, I'm going to pull up in my browser is bass sounds. And again, we can go to plugins, come out of Absynth, go straight back to Massive, and now I've got. all my sounds inside Massive which are bass related. Now let's come out of Massive, let's go to another really popular synth um, which is Nexus. So again I've now jumped out of, I've jumped out of Massive, I'm now in Nexus and I'm now searching all my bass sounds. So let's come out of bases and let's look at some other stuff that's inside Nexus. So, so one of the great things about this keyboard and the VIP software is the multi-layering feature. Now the thing is, anyone who's making dance music nowadays, um, especially inside the box, um, one of the things that people love to do is layer sounds. Now, up until now, layering sounds in the door is not the easiest thing to do because you have to open up multiple instances of everything and then handle that plugin independently. Now with, with the advanced keyboard and VIP, I can do everything from the keyboard, but I'm only using one track inside my door to do all this. I'm not creating multiple tracks. So at the moment, I've got Nexus running. I can now go to my browser, go up to the top here where it says S1 and go to slot two. And now I'm in slot two. I can pull up any one of my plugins and layer another sound over the top. So let's go down to Massive and let's open up a, another sound on here. Go back to our multi. And now what you'll hear. So now I've got two sounds running. If I do it again, we'll go up to slot three. I'm now still inside Massive, or I could come out of Massive, go directly down to Plugins, come out of Massive, go to, um, we'll go to Absynth, and now I'm in Absynth, and I can put a sound straight onto here, and here we go. And I've still got control over every single one of those plugins directly from the keyboard. So I go to multi, I can select the plugin I want to control, hit my controls, and now I've got my eight macros across four banks. Um, so you can see the kind of power that I have at my fingertips of, of layering VSTs. And as I explained, you can layer eight VSTs directly on the keyboard on one track inside your door. So um, next feature I'm going to quickly show you is called um, set list. Now basically this enables me to drag and drop all my favorite sounds and put them into folders and actually pull them up directly from the keyboard. So if I'm a DJ and I want to take out my kit live and I want to play a load of sounds on my set, this is the, the, the best feature to do that because what I can do, I can go up to my set list and I can go to leads, right? So maybe I want to use some kind of like lead sounds live. Now within my categories now, I've, I've basically dragged in the lead sounds that I want to use for the gig. So now, <laughs> go through these sounds or I might be looking for a live DJ set and now I can flip to these sounds straight away or maybe I'm looking for pads so now I've got all my pad sounds directly here in my set list so now I'm going to have pads from Nexus Here, and then I can move over to my leads and notice the sound still playing So having that kind of feature from a DJ's perspective or from a, from a producer where you can just recall your sounds in any live environment or in a studio session is something that again you can't do if you're using conventional controller keyboards. The final thing I'm going to quickly show you is I've now moved VIP inside Logic which I explained earlier that you can open up VIP in any door. So 
what I can do is if I'm running multiple instances of VIP, so I can either layer or even run single sounds, I can control all that from the keyboard. So at the moment, I have a sound up here. Now I can go to main menu, shift cursor to the right. And now what I can see on the screen is all my different instances of VIP, which is running inside Logic. So I could go to instance number four, which is here, and I can see the sound that I'm using. So when I play the track, um, I can go to that instance and change the sound to whatever I want. I go to my controls. So you can kind of see the control that I have directly of all my sounds inside Logic or any application that I'm using. And also we can set up the keyboard to control our door as well. Um, I can go to shift, set up, and now I can go into Logic mode and I'll have full control over the transport, over plugins, effects, whatever I want to do. And I can remap the keyboard again to basically integrate directly with whichever door that I'm using. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today down at Tourroom Studios. I'm Andy Mack from Akai Pro. And if you if you got any more questions about the product, please come to the akaipro.com website for more information or go directly to Tourroom. Thank you.